In this video, we will learn how to run a select query on a table in Microsoft SQL Server using the Python POD BC library. We will also design a select GUI application using the custom Kinter library. I have a table that I previously created in Microsoft SQL Server. There are five records in the table. We will be able to see this data in the desktop application we designed. There are button, label and entry objects in the application. After the table name and ID are entered in the entry objects, when the button is clicked, the database connection is established and the data is displayed in the label object. We will redo the project with you. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the necessary libraries. I will connect to Microsoft SQL Server using the PODBC library. You can transfer the PODBC library with this command. I will use the custom Kinter library to design a desktop application. You can transfer with this command. First, I will provide a database connection. I'm transferring the PODBC library. I will use the try except method to catch errors. I'm creating a variable for connection. I will connect to the database by sending parameters to the connect function. I set the driver option to SQL Server. I can find out the server name this way. I can learn the database name this way. I will connect to the system using Windows Authentication. Therefore, I set the trusted connection option to true. I am creating a cursor for the select query. I will send the select query to the execute function. In SQL Server, we can see the data in the table. There are five data in the table. I will print this data to the console screen in a moment. I can use a for loop to access the data. There are ID, first name and last name columns. I print the first, second and third member of the index to the console screen. An error may occur when connecting to the database for any reason. I can handle these errors in the accept section. I am printing the error on the console screen. When I run the program, the data in the table is printed on the console screen. You can verify the data by checking Microsoft SQL Server. Now let's design the application I showed at the beginning of the video. I am creating a code file. I import PODBC and custom Kinter libraries. I set the view mode to system. I set the color theme to blue. I create a variable for the window. I adjust the window size using the geometry function. I change the title using the title function. By using the main loop function, I ensure that the window does not close suddenly. I created an empty window. I will create an entry object for the table name. I send the window variable and text values to the entry function. I add the object to the desktop window using the place function.
I added the entry object to the window for the table name. By entering the ID value by the user, the requested data will be displayed in the label object. I create an entry object for the ID. I send the window variable and text values to the entry function. I add the object to the desktop window using the place function. The entry object for the ID has been added to the desktop window. Now I will create a button. When the button is clicked, it will be connected to the database and the requested data will be displayed in the label object. I send the window variable, text, task function, and color values to the button function. I add the object to the desktop window using the place function. For now, I define the task function with pass. The button object has been added to the desktop window. Now I will create a label object to display the data on the screen. I send the window variable and text values to the label function. I add the object to the desktop window using the place function. The label object has been added to the desktop window. Now I will edit the task function. I'm creating a variable for connection. I will connect to the database by sending parameters to the connect function. I set the driver option to SQL Server. I can find out the server name this way. I can learn the database name this way. I will connect to the system using Windows authentication. Therefore, I set the trusted connection option to true. I am creating a cursor for the select query. I will send the select query to the execute function. I can get the values entered by the user into entry objects with the get function. I can access the data with a for loop. I will display the data in the label object using the configure function. There are three columns, ID, first name and last name. I'm trying the application now. I enter the table name and ID value. When the button is clicked, a database connection is established and the data is displayed in the label object. We can access all data this way. When the table name is incorrect, I will show a message indicating this in the label object. I can use the try accept method for this. If there is an error in the accept part, I can see the error. I edit the label object using the configure function. I am trying the application. I can access the data with the table name and ID.
If the table name is incorrect, a message indicating this is printed in the console label object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.